Oh, can you bring me the picture right there of Tammy? Tammy Wynette. Because <laughs> that just would be funny if, uh, yeah. I'm going to do a Tammy Wynette song, and I'm going to tell you about Tammy Wynette. Okay. Yeah. See what it says right here? It says, it says, to Melissa, thanks. I love you, Tammy. I know. Now, I met Tammy Wynette in like, I think it was 1989. I was doing something in New York City, and I had, uh, I had mentioned that she was a, uh, an influence of mine, because she was when I was growing up. Some of the first songs I ever sang were Tammy Wynette songs. I told you that, you know, when I was first singing in the country bands back in Kansas, one of, the, one of the big crowd pleasers, one of the showstoppers was, Stand by your man. I'm not going to do that song. <laughs> but, uh, uh, she, uh, you know, I, I guess uh, she'd read about that, and somebody told her, and her people reached out to my people and said, Hey, would you like to, to come by? So after, so after my show or something, I don't remember, I went to see her at the bottom line. And I went backstage, and I was just... Uh, I was just so delighted to, to meet her and talk to her, and we exchanged numbers, and, and we, um, we kept in touch. And then when she was in Los Angeles, we would have lunch. I remember we had lunch one time, and she was, she was so kind. She was so smart. She was very, uh, very up on music. I mean, I was a brand-new artist, and she really enjoyed my music, and that, that made me very happy. She wanted to collaborate with me, and we started making plans about, um, about doing a, a show together. We were going to do the Johnny Cash show. We were going to we go into a women's prison. She knew about a women's prison that was run by women, that the warden was a woman, and she wanted to go do a show in, one of those, in, in that prison. And we, I, like we were contacting HBO, and it was happening. And in, in the meantime, uh, I had a show just after that down in Nashville, and I saw her. And, um, oh, oh, you know what else you have to get, honey? Sorry, can you, yeah, you remember where it is? It's right by the, it's in the, in the New Zealand desk. Yes, <laughs> that's a long story. Okay, but this is the story of this. So I go to her house in Nashville, which is on the end of, I think it's called Franklin Road or something. It's a beautiful, there you go. <laughs> it's a beautiful, um, you know, it's, it's where all the, beautiful Nashville country artists, you know, live. And she bought Hank Williams Sr., you know, the, the guy, Hank Williams' house, his last house that he was in before he died. So uh, they bought it from his wife at the time. And they were walking around going, okay, we are, um, we are remodeling the house. And they took me around. They took me back to their, uh, the master bathroom that they were getting ready to demolish. And it was, it was very um, elaborate, you know, <laughs> very lots of fancy, you know, things. That was, was kind of the style back in the 60s, 70s, right around there. And, um, and I looked at the, uh, the sink, right, and the, the, the hot and cold, you know, faucet things. And they were these fancy, like, parrots. And I said, oh, my God, that's amazing. He goes, hey, you want it? pulled it off, gave it to me. Yes, I have, via Tammy Wynette, Hank Williams' master bathroom, what do you call these, uh, what do you call the things that you turn, the, <laughs> the hot and cold spigot? No, not the spigot, the, the thing. The faucet handle, there's got to be a word for it. I'm sure someone will tell me, <laughs> but look at that. It is truly, it's a very special thing of mine. And uh, I keep it actually in the entryway. <laughs> Can you believe that? Hank Williams, Hank Williams and Tammy Wynette, both after they get out of the bathtub, used it. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, thank you. But that's my Tammy Wynette story. And then not long after that, <laughs> oh, not long after that, sweet Tammy passed away. 
she'd had a lot of health problems. Um, and uh, she, she passed away, and she passed away before we could put the deal together to do a, uh, a prison show. I would have loved that. I just would have loved that. And I think of her often. And after she passed away, they put a uh, you know, tribute album together. And they said, Melissa, would you do a song? Absolutely. So I did one of her, oh, it's actually her first, I believe it's her first single. And it, uh, it's just such a sad song. And she used to just sing the sad, her songs back in the 60s were just, oh, just tear your heart apart. And they were real. You know, like our D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Nobody was singing about divorce. And she was brave, man. She was, you got to see this country uh, PBS special. Watch that. It's the Ken Burns documentary on country. It's amazing. You learn so much about her and George Jones and all that. Uh, so I, uh, I did this song for the album, and I got some requests for it. So I said, yeah, I'll do Tammy, and I'll tell you my Tammy Wynette stories. Just follow the stairway To this lonely world of mine You'll find me waiting there In apartment number nine Not so very long ago You walked away from me And after all the plans we made You decided to be free Loneliness surrounds me Without your arms around me And the sun will never shine In apartment number nine I keep waiting in this lonely room For you to come change your mind Oh, you'll find me waiting here In apartment number nine Tammy Wynette. I'll never forget Tammy. 